Hello, I'm Richard O'Neill, storyteller and author. And I have done stories before about a big snail, the Barrow Bowery, the big snail. But I just love slugs and snails. I mean, they're fascinating things scientifically when you look at them, how old they are and how far they can travel. You think a snail doesn't travel very far, but it really does. And that brings me to the story I'm going to share with you over a, a series of chapters about a slug and a snail, Reggie and Sylvester and their journey. And they're going to meet some very, very interesting people and things on their journey, like talking gate posts. But enough of that till later on. Let's get back to the slugs and the snails, why I like them so much. Well, you know, when you look at a slug and a snail, now don't pick them up because they, they people say they're slimy and they actually are. And if you get that slime on your fingers, ooh, You'll never get rid of it. Just look at them, just study them. Now, here's the interesting thing as well about slugs and snails. Their correct terminology, the Latin for slugs and snails is gastropod. And gastro means stomach and pod means foot because a slug and a snail's mouth is on its foot. So that's why when it crawls over a leaf and then it just, you just see it on the leaf and nothing's happening. Then when it crawls away, there's a lovely big hole because it's actually eaten from its foot. Wouldn't it be great if you had a mouth on your foot, somebody's walking past with a biscuit, just put your leg out, take a bite of it. Or if one of your adults says, hey, get your feet off the table, you go, hey, that's the only way I can eat my tea. So the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you in a video how to make your very own sock snail or sock slug. You just get some old socks, make sure they're clean ones though, like this, and then I'll show you how to make your own slug well the slug you see would just be the snail without this extra bit on the on the back um or make your own sock snail and i just can't wait to see all of these wonderful sock slugs and sock snails all the different patterns and all those different colors so until then this is richard o'neill saying goodbye for now goodbye